good GMs take advantage of, of poorly run organizations because there's no world where Alex Caruso should go for a Josh Giddy. I don't care how high you are in Josh Giddy. That's just not that value don't even make sense. Teams were talking about throwing two or three first for Caruso this year. It's nothing changed about his play. Bro, the, the like the Bulls are so it's like it's like they pur- purposely wait for the worst time to trade guys. It's, it's like they're like, your value is the highest now. Nah, that's when we should keep you to go for the playing. Oh, your value a little bit lower. And this is probably the worst. You know what's the crazy part about it is his value probably wasn't even lower. It's like you st- if you shopped around Alex Caruso, you just was like, yo, he's on the trade block. Right. You still would have got more than Josh Giddy. Like, so it's not even like his value went down. It's just like you just took the the bad deal for no reason. I don't know. I don't know what they do over there. It, it just don't make sense to me. Look, I, I think Josh Giddy still can be a good NBA player. I think he needs a shot doctor to come in and really <laughs> – Try to get him back comfortable shooting. There's question marks coming in when he was drafted that the you know perimeter shooting would be a struggle for him to then roll up and down. Obviously, his last season was a really, really down, especially in the postseason to the point, like we said, he was unplayable for the Thunder in that series against Dallas. But there's still a lot of upside there. He's still super young. I understand that logic of it, and maybe that's just me really trying to wrap my head around the Chicago side of things because – other than that, bro, Caruso was a guy that you had. There's just no. If you would have told me there was, they didn't get any picks back, I wouldn't have believed you. If you would have told me they didn't get any first round picks back, I wouldn't have believed you. To just get Josh Giddy for Alice Caruso it really seems like it should be vetoable. If this was fantasy football, all the other GMs would be lining up to veto that trade. No way. They're letting Oklahoma City get Caruso. It was one of those trades where it's like everybody else looking at it like, I didn't even know you was trading him. It's like, right. like, I didn't know he was available. You know what I mean? It was like one of them type trades. But I remember I seen something where it was like the Bulls ownership was like, the only thing that matters is um, like your fans knowing at the end of the year that you still have a chance, even if you like can't win this, can't win at all. What Chicago fan has thought they had a chance the last four or five years, bro? They it mean like not even like to win the championship. It means like, it's like it's basically their way of saying instead of tanking, like we want to give our fans just a sliver of hope. Oh no, 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 it was like the end of the season. The fans always want something to play for. Like, instead of, like, you know how when you rebuild and tank, like, obviously you're not playing for – you're playing to lose on purpose versus, like, the, the reason why the Bulls keep trying to go for the play-in or something like that, they try to make their games matter towards the end of the season. When it's like, bro, like, you're prioritizing that over actually building a team that can legitimately do something. Like, right. it, bro, all I know is MJ saved the Bulls from being, like, the Doesn't bottom get talked of the about bottom. Enough. Bro, he saved them – before him, nothing. After him, D Rose and nothing. Nothing like, else. He, like he saved them from being like the bottom of the barrel as far as franchises go. They bro. would be one of the most poverty organizations, bro. Because again, when Jordan came in, and I'm sure this happened across the league, but it gets more talked about with with Jordan and time with the Bulls. He talk about players in the locker room drinking, smoking. Doing that, you dig, yeah. you know, little little booger sugar in the corner, <laughs> like, bro, and was going out and losing a bunch uh, all day, all season. It's just, bro, I don't know, man. It's, oh, it's uh, crazy. Um, w- this was supposed to be about OKC, but since we here, <laughs> look, the the Bulls, one hundred percent. One of the biggest losers of free agency, one of the biggest losers of last season, the season prior, the season prior to free agency, the season prior trade in line. The, the Bulls has been life. taking L's, yeah. bro. This is a losing organization at this point. They're poverty, bro. The definition of poverty. The fact that they brought in new front office people and guys like Carney Chauvin's after the Gar Packs era, where so many fans literally have fire Gar Packs t shirts, couldn't stand that front office. And it, I actually think it's worse, bro. I actually think they're making worse moves than they did before. 
How's that even possible, bro? I don't know. I genuinely think you could take any NBA YouTuber, podcaster, whatever, and just put them in a GMC right now for the Bulls, and they're 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 at least can't be worse. They cannot be worse, bro. Bro, it's like they're making moves to where like any literally anybody with a uh, any sort of brain is like what? Like anybody is like, come on, what, what are we doing? Like it's just. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I could, all I know is my heart goes out to Bulls fans. It really does. <laughs> Especially Bulls fans who didn't live to see the MJ. Like, like, older oh Bulls my fans, gosh. Yeah. Older Bulls fans is like, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all sold y'all sold <laughs> for, <laughs> for two, three peats. Two, three peats. Yeah. But if I'm a Bulls fan that didn't even get to really enjoy that, favorite player growing up was D Rose. You only know heartbreaking pain, bro. That's all you know. That's all you know, bro. And it just keeps going. Keeps going. Woo.